Here at the Union Mission, every day we shelter women and children who are experiencing homelessness. And when you think about what has to happen in someone's life for them to experience homelessness, it's not just that they lost their job and that they lost their place to stay, but they had nowhere else to turn, no friends or family who could take them in and help them. And so here at the Union Mission, we're able to do that. We're able to, when a woman and children has nowhere else to go, they're able to come in and get food and shelter and clothing. And most importantly, they're able to have a home. When they come in, they're uncertain, they're scared, but when the time comes to take the family to the room, it's my favorite time. You know, mom's walking down the hall with a child on each leg and I've got somebody by the hand. But when we open that door, they, their breaths are, they're, look, and they walk in, the children let go, they go claim their bed. There's a pair of pajamas on each bed for the children. And mom, I see the relief come on her face many times, more than not, the mom will cry. And she says, I feel safe. And the children are relieved because they have in their mind what a shelter is. But when they come into our shelter and into their bedrooms, they feel safe and it feels like their home. I think about a family that comes to mind with the mom and her two kids, you know, and them being at a very low place in their lives and, um, just being able to have the mission to be able to come here to, um, you know, find the help and the assistance that they need uh, truly meant a lot to this mom. And so I remember a time where she happened to come into the office. She was having a really hard day that day and things was just overwhelming to her. And um, as she's sitting there, she begins to weep because she's trying to do her best, but things just had, been so hard and she really needed some encouragement. I happened to be there that day to actually sit down and speak with her. And so, and a wonderful thing about with staff being able to be here with the resident, we, we connect with them, we build relationships with them. And so when she began to weep, I found myself weeping with her. And not only that, but she just, I knew that she needed some type of encouragement. So I began to encourage her and you could see how that meant a lot to her and the fact that the doors of the mission, their doors was open, you know, just so that they could be a part. It meant so much to her, not only to her, but to myself. And I just want to say to our donors that you just don't know the magnitude of your blessings. And it just means a lot to so many people, not only to the the people that come through the doors, but to the staff, just to be a part of their family, a part of their situation at the time to bring them hope. And so I just want to say thanks to all the donors and all that you do. And it goes a really long way. So as a case manager, one of the most rewarding and um, Probably the most stressful part uh, is housing seniors. So this particular senior, um, she really warms my heart. Um, most seniors are pretty reluctant, not sure that they wanna go to an assistant living facility, uh, but this particular guest was really enthused. She really wanted to go. Um, so visiting her a month later, once she had been placed, I went in to check on her, deliver her mail, ask her how was things going. And she started out as if there was a problem and my heart kind of sunk. But lo and behold, she was so happy. She said, I love this place. They do everything for you. They do your laundry. Um, they're just really nice people. And that really warmed my heart. Um, because it can be so difficult housing seniors. So every time I think of that story, it just uh, it just warms my heart that you know she was successfully housed, being a senior, and uh, she was well happy. She was happy with the outcome. I think one of the things that would surprise people about the Union Mission is actually what a happy place it is. 
Um, I remember a couple of months ago, I was in the women and children's shelter and I was playing with some of the kids in our play area. And one of the little girls grabbed a book and came over and wanted me to read it to her. She was about four years old. And it was a book about praying and talking to God about how you're feeling. And so I just made the offhand comment to her. I said, you know, you can always tell God how you're feeling. And right there in that moment at the Union Mission, she dropped the book. She looked up and goes, happy. And I think that just sums up so great how much um, our guests, whether they're really little or, or older, um, experience the joy of the Lord at the mission.